everyone, XP Games and L here, back with a new Fire Emblem Builder tutorial. Today, I am going to tackle a topic that someone in my comment section asked. I am going to cover support conversations today. Now, let me quickly look at who asked me to make a video about this, because support conversations is basically another form of uh, conversations. That is why I'm putting it here. It's Gwen Life who asked me to make a tutorial um, of support conversations, so I'll be doing that. Um, so, if you um, want to know how to get to the support conversations menu, you could just simply click the um, character editor here in the top left, and it will take you to the character editor screen. Now, if it's correct, there it is. Look, here's the character editor screen. Uh, if you have watched the previous episodes, you know what's going on here. Um, and then there's this little uh, support data thingy. If you click on this, you will go to another window, and that is called Support Thresholds. And this little window is a window... Here you can see every single character uh, in the game that has support conversations. So, in standard FE8, this is everything, uh, every character but the bonus units. Uh, the bonus units are like uh, Riev, Kalag... Uh, um, was it Selena? It was Selena, right? Valter... Uh, Orson, all those characters. Oh, and uh, uh, Erica's father, or for, uh, for, uh, Fado. Uh, those characters are not in here because they do not have supports. But for the rest, every single character uh, is here. They all have supports. So what you see immediately here is uh, the character. The uh, character uh, that's also listed here. These are the supports for the character Erica, and these are the supports for the character Ephraim. These are the supports for Seth, because that because they are the source support. It's a bit uh, tricky to explain how it works. Basically, uh, it shows supports belong to this character. So, right off the bat, we can see that Erica has seven support partners. Seven is the maximum. I do not know. Uh, I think there's a patch that allows you to increase the amount of support partners. I do not know for sure. Um, but uh, the maximum, the standard maximum is 7. And as you can see, Erica supports with Ephraim, Seth, Saleh, La Rochelle, Tana, Inez, and Ford. Those are the characters, um, yeah, she supports with. Um, as you can see, the amount of uh, support partners is also listed here. Uh, and if you, we go to Ford for an example, five supports, so there's also five listed here. That is um, something you need to keep in mind, because I do not know um, for sure, but I thought that this little thing over here, the hashtag partners, has to be set manually. I do not know if FE Builder... We could update that real quick. Let's see. Um, yes, FE Builder updates that by itself, so you do not have to worry about this. That's just the amount of support partners a character has. So, if you want to make a new support, well, let's not um, do Erica because Erica is completely full. Um, let's go Seth, and let's um, we'll have Seth support with Kyle. Because I don't know why Seth does not support with Kyle. They are both Knights of Renee. I thought that that would just be a little bit of a standard thing. So, um... Before I set Seth as a support partner, you will see that this um, Kyle's name turns red. And that is because a support partner must be set, um, or that you need to double set the support partner. So Seth needs to have Kyle set as a support partner, and Kyle needs to have Seth set as a support partner. You uh, Because otherwise, um, Seth could support with Kyle. But Kyle cannot support with Seth, and the game doesn't like that. So, um, we have to set Seth here as well. And as you can see, the error is gone now. Everything is fine. So, uh, what we have now, before we move on to the support convos, we have an initial value and we have a growth value. Now, um, as you can see here, we have the unranked C, B, and A value. Um, basically what happens is every single turn, a unit stands, uh, two units stand uh, next to each other, the growth value will be added up to the initial value. 
So for an example, if I put Erica and Seth next to each other for one turn, the initial value of Erica will be 19 and the growth will be 3. Now we have to uh, watch out because these numbers are hexadecimal. So that means that 19 will not become 20, but will become um, 1a instead, which is basically, um, that's just, uh, I, I do not know out of the back of my head what number that is in decimal numbers, but that becomes 1a, then it uh, two more, so it becomes 1c if they um, stand next to each other for one turn. And as you can see here, um, the C support unlocks um, at like 51. So that means that um, you need to wait until this number becomes 51. So for Erica, this has to be, that's a lot of calculation goes into that. But uh, anyway, uh, she, the initial value will uh, raise by three every single time Erica and Seth are next to each other. And at a certain point, the um, they will reach uh, 51, and then they can trigger support level C. Then they are able to reach, uh, when they reach A1, they will be able to reach B, and then they will be able to reach F1. So, um, as you can see here, uh, Seth also supports with Cormac, but Cormac's initial value and Seth's initial value are both uh, zero and they uh, get plus two each turn they are next to each other. So this support is terribly slow, seeing as you only get plus two and you need to get to 51 in hexadecimal numbers. That is quite a while you have to wait for the support between Seth and Cormac, while Erica's support with Seth is really, really fast as it raises uh, by three every turn, as well as its initial value is really high. So. If you have two characters that are like childhood friends or they are lovers or something like that, um, if they have a close uh, relationship, then a strong initial value, such as the 19 seen here, and a strong growth are on point. If two characters um, have a... Well, uh, they know each other from around parts and they, they, um, they know each other by name and they do a little bit stuff together, then the initial value F and the growth 2 might be a little bit more on place. And if these uh, two don't know each other at all, and they have a little bit of a uh, hard time getting along, then initial value 0 and growth 2 might be more in place. And the thing is, um, with the supports, is that um, the higher the growth, the earlier you reach a new support level. So um, if you want two characters to get a support very, very fast, high initial value, high growth, um, and you have to play around with that. You could also just set this growth to like 1, and then support will go extremely slow. If you want a really, really slow support, you could set this to 1. You could also make a really, really fast support. Um, I do not know how Coleman Namey support... Yeah, look at this. Uh, Coleman Namey uh, can trigger a support immediately. That is because um, their initial value is 50. And their growth again is 3, so they can grow close to each other very, very quickly. So you have to uh, screw around a bit with these numbers. Anyway, um, I'm going to go to, like, uh, Seth. And, well, France has an F and a growth, uh, 2 in growth. I'm going to give uh, Kyle a 2 in growth, too. And I'm going to say, like, um, well, Kyle and Seth know each other. Um, they know each other because um, they have a talk in uh, the It's a Trap Chapter 8 of this game. So I'm going to set this to 9. Um, you know, Franz has a better relationship or a, a better bond with Seth. And Kyle has a slightly less good bond. So that is why this is 9. Franz has F. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get to the uh, convos. And um, if you click on Support Partner... 6 on the um, on this little thing here if you click on this uh, you will go to the support between Cormac and Seth if you click on this you'll go to uh, Seth and Natasha that is just basic stuff that are some really nice shortcuts that are in uh, FE Builder that's really really nice alright so the support convo uh, screen there we go uh, as you can see every single combination uh, or combination is here but as you can see, um, Seth does not have any convos with um, 
with Kyle. So what we're going to do is we're going to this extend list button. We're going to click extend list because we need to make a new support. Uh, we allocate data and repoint. Then we have this little thing here. We're going to get Seth and Kyle was 11, I think. So there you go. Um, and then we're going to edit the text here. Um, well, we'll go until C support. I have no... Uh, I do not want to work all of this out. This is just a test support. So we're going to the text editor. And I'm quickly going to uh, um, put the text editor here as well. So there we go. Um, and we need to... If we do not know if we have a new conversation already. Uh, no, we need to make a new one. So let's do that. So we have a new support here. And what we'll do is we'll put um, Seth at the left middle like so and we'll put um Kyle at the right like uh so and what we'll do is we'll do something like um says like hey Kyle we have reached support level C oh, let me just quickly um we are just this because that's just looks a lot nicer. Uh, congrats, Seth. You are less bab now. And there you go. That is the support conversation we're rolling with. Um, a quick tip: if you um, edit text uh, and uh, you clicked on like, well, uh, let me go back to the um, support combos here. We clicked on this um, C conversation thingy, right? Uh, and that takes you to the text editor. If you just double click on the, um, if you just double click on the address of the conversation you wish to put there. So in this case, this is this conversation. If we just double click here, uh, oh God. Okay, there you go. Um, I'll just use this one. As you will see, the C conversation is now filled in with the text we or the conversation we just created. So that's also something really nice if you just quickly want to assign uh, a conversation you've been working on uh, to an event. You can just double click the address. That's something extremely nice that Effie Builder has. Effie Builder has these really nice shortcuts and um, it makes your time a lot easier if you just... Um, if you if you just make use of them so if correct Seth and Kyle now have a support um, what we're going to do is we're going to fire up from and see if it works so if correct we should see there you go um, I'll restart the chapter and what we'll do um, is we'll uh, have we'll do this because uh, I want Salah on, uh, on our side. Uh, and what we'll also do is, uh, if you just give me the lightning tome real quick, thank you very much. Um, what we're also going to do is, there's this little debug menu that Effie Builder has. We're going to grow all of our player units the strongest. Does anyone have a wanted? Yeah, Ross is a wanted to range. So we'll just put Ross here, I guess. And we'll have Ross uh, whack away at these guys. And, you know, oh, Vanessa also has a 1 to 2 range weapon. Good. Just do this. And then we'll have, um, I need to turn auto cursor off because we really quickly want to uh, grind the support. So, uh oh. I forgot that we do not have Kyle in this army. You know what? I'm going to um, be right back and then we're going to trigger Kyle's support and set support. I'll see you in a bit. All right, I'm back. Um, what I've done is I've just quickly um, moved to the debug chapter. There's a debug chapter in um, Sacred Stones where you can play with all the characters. Um, every unpromoted character is like level 19 here and they have like uh, promotion items. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get Kyle here and move him next to Seth. Um, this auto cursor, auto cursor needs to be off, so let's do this. Oh. We'll just quickly um, see if we can grind the support.
know, I'm not good at just pressing buttons in this consecutive order. Okay, how we doing now? Is it done yet? Nope. Uh, we need to wait a bit longer. Hey, who's this? Seth go uh, I thought Seth may have been supporting with um, Ford, but they don't have a support. Let's see. Um, when are we done exactly? Um, nope. Still have to wait. Supporting yet? Nope. What turn are we on even? 41. Ah, there we go. Support has been unlocked. There you go. Hey, Kyle. We have reached support level Z. Congrats, Seth. No, uh, you are less bad now. So there you go, that's support level C. As you can see, uh, as you can see, haha, funny. Uh, we have the C rank now, and um, they also have two affinities. What, what do the affinities do? Uh, for those of you who do not know what the affinities do, Seth has ice affinity, and Kyle, Kyle also has ice affinity. Both have ice, and that gives defense plus one, hit plus uh, five, critical avoid plus five, and avoid plus five. No, not too bad, actually. So there is that. That is how you unlock supports, how you set them, how you do everything with supports in Effie Builder. If I miss anything, if anything is unclear, be sure to let me know. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, and if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. It helps out the channel. If you want more topics to be covered, leave it down in the comments below, and I see, uh, I'll, I'll see if I can do s to uh, do something about it, make a video about it. Just, um, just leave a suggestion in the comments below, and I will see you guys all next time. Goodbye.